Okay, so we're at the airport and my suitcase was drastically overweight. Let's see if I made the weight limit now. 51. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I had booked the flight, so I guess it's my fault. So we have a few overnight flights, and one of our overnight flights is in Dallas. So we will be staying overnight to Dallas, catching a plane tomorrow, and then head out from there. Good morning. So we are at the airport in Dallas. So we had a layover last night in Dallas, and now we're heading to Hong Kong. So we're gonna have a layover in Hong Kong before we actually get to Bali. So right now we have a couple more minutes before we get on our flight. Our flight boards at 10:45, and then we'll be down in Hong Kong by 4:38, kind of check out what's going on there, and then we'll be on our way. under a subsidiary called Cathay Pacific. So when flying, just make sure that you pay attention to things like that because if we didn't get here early, we would probably miss our flight. Finally boarded our flight. So Is a beef 
before this area it was like the Dutch heritage. You will see the um, the statue of the Dutch where they built like uh, during the occupation of the countries, and then it was the, like the, the palace before, but it has been took over by the Dutch colony, and they make the headquarter here. But when they left the country during the after the World War II, and then we changed the area become like the uh, place for hangout as the heritage, we don't destroy them, just keep them for the heritage. Thank you. Yeah, we, we don't destroy uh, anything here. All like uh, something historical, we keep it. So that's very much what we're doing, we're doing in Bali. This is why we are very cultured. Every of the culture from the, um, let's say, from the colonialism, uh, religion, we keep reminding. Yeah. <coughs> Later on, you will see the uh, uh, the big like water statue, mm -hmm. and that was the Dutch built built the uh, the system irrigation system basically. <laughs>
My time in Bali has been nothing short of amazing. So I visited the gates of heaven. So I had to wait about an hour to get up there and take my picture. <laughs> so that took about an hour. And then, you know, you kind of walk around the temple. There's other areas where you can take pictures as well. They asked for like, I think it was like 10,000 rupees, and then you can take pictures of the places on the temple. And to get into the temple, you just have to make a donation. And if you don't have a scarf, then you need to rent a scarf. So you have to pay for that. And if you have a scarf, then you don't, all you have to do is pay the donation to get in. So there's no set amount to get into the gates of heaven. So after we left the gates of heaven, we went down to the water temple. I mean, the water temple was so beautiful. So we went to the water temple, there's fish there, you can spend money to buy food to feed the fish so that way, you know, they'll come around you. There's a restaurant out there by the temple that you can eat at. And then after we did that, since everything is in the same vicinity, so the water temple as well as the gates of heaven, they were in the same area. So it didn't take that long to get there from each other, but I'm staying in Kuta, so it took us a while to get all the way to the temple. So about a three hour ride, but it was a nice ride. So after we did that, we did go to the Bali swing. So at the swings, there's multiple different areas where you can take pictures. There's different packages that you can buy. So if you wanna get on all the swings, you can buy that package. If you want them to take your photos, then you have to pay additional money and I know everybody wants to get that long dress to wear on the swings. So if you want to get a dress, you can, if you can find one. Other than that, they have dresses there that you can actually rent if you would like, but you have to pay them to rent it. So the swings were fun. At first, you know, I'm kind of scary. So at first I was kind of scared, but you know, after they start swinging you, then you know, you know, that's not that bad. You are strapped in, so you don't have to worry about falling. Even on like the nest, they strap you in as well. So you're not just up there free flowing, so you don't have to worry about falling. So after we did that, we came back to the villa. The villa is super nice. And we have our own private pool. The showers are kind of outside. I mean, it's beautiful. The food here is divine. So all the food places that I've been to are tagged on my Instagram page. So you can definitely go and, you know, click on the link and see what other type of food options they had and kind of see if you want to purchase something from there and, kind of, and see what everything looks like. So the food is awesome here. I mean, it's so seasoned. <laughs> the food is so seasoned, it's so good. I had the shrimp pasta one night. Oh my God. The shrimp pasta was so freaking good. I love that pasta. I actually really want to go back and get it, but all the food here is so good. I kind of don't want to go back because I don't want to miss the opportunity to taste something new. But that was some bomb shrimp pasta. If they had that shrimp pasta where I live, I'd probably be there every week because I like to eat the same food over and over and over and over. But here, the food is just divine. Also, what else did I do? So, oh, the massages. The massages here are so good. And according to Western standards, they are so cheap. So if you have to get a massage anywhere in America, you're gonna spend like 60 to $70 for a massage. Here, Guess how many US dollars it costs? Guess. Eight, at the most, 20 US dollars to get a massage. There's some places that will give you a two and a half hour massage for eight dollars. Yes, yes, you heard me right. Eight dollars. The massages are so good. I mean, I just love the hair. <laughs> I really do. I love it. The massages are really, really, really good. So we went and got two massages so far since we've been here. Um, I might go get another one today before I leave because 
those prices just can't be beat. Like I've never seen nothing like it before. To get around, so when we drove to go to see the temple in the gates of heaven, we actually hired a driver for the day. So for that driver, we paid 800,000 rupees and we had him for the whole day. And so basically he just drove us around to each area. Other than that, we use Grab. Now Grab is like Uber. So if you've written, written an Uber or if you've written a Lyft, that's what it's like. So basically there's an app here for it and then you just tell them you know, where you're going. You don't pay on there like Uber or Lyft. I think you can, I'm not 100% sure, but we pay them in cash once they, um, once they drop us to our destination. So y'all, guess how much it costs to use Grab? It is so cheap. Literally, we can go somewhere that's like 48 minutes away for $7. Yes. Yes. 40 minutes away, traffic, $7. I know, it's unheard of. Unheard of. I mean, I just, it's just amazing. So we use Grab to get around everywhere. And so you can just go from place to place. And there's just so many shopping places so there's so many different areas like if you've been to miami and you've been on the strip there's like tons of places like that it's like a strip everywhere you go food shopping everything and then they have you know a bunch of little stores where you can buy souvenirs at all around i mean it's amazing even on the strips there's a bunch of exchange places if you need to exchange your money there's a bunch of places to exchange money as well so that's my trip so far. This is our last day here and our flight leaves at 10 p.m. tonight. So we're actually going to Australia. So make sure you stay tuned to the next video. The next video is gonna tell you all about a trip in Australia. But our flight doesn't leave till 10 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna decide what we wanna do today. So I'll let you know what we do before we leave and what are we doing with our layover because I've noticed that a lot of the flights do leave out kind of late. So I'll let you know what to do while you're waiting to leave. All right, talk to you guys later. Okay, so as you guys know, it was gonna be a minute before our flight leaves. Our flight doesn't leave till actually it's not 10, it's 10.30 tonight. So we decided to go ahead and go to Amia Beach Club and hang out. So we're on our way there now. We're about like 20 minutes away. So once we get there, I'll show you around and we'll check it out together. Because there were some that were taxed and we just had to 
on the wait list to try to get that particular boot. So how it works is, once you get a certain section, there's a minimum spend limit, depending on what you want to fit. So you'll have a set amount that goes towards your food and drink. And then you spend that minimum, it covers the section that you're sitting in. But all in all, it was a good vibe and the food was great. So I would definitely recommend Omni as a spot to visit while here in Bali. So this concludes our trip to Bali. So we're currently at the airport. We're going to be catching our next flight. It was originally supposed to be at 10.30, but it got delayed to 11.15. So, you know, Omnia was a good spot. So we stayed at Omnia and now we're at the airport about to head out. But all in all, Bali was beautiful and amazing. I loved every moment of it.